Welcome to 5 More Minutes, useful videos in about 5 minutes that support the teaching and learning of all students. I'm your host, Shelly Moore. Today's episode is called Dr. Baked Potato. Okay, so this story is going to start out a little weird, but just stay with me, okay? You see, there's something that not a lot of people know about me. Like, I have this passion. Like, it keeps me up at night. I just love baked potatoes. I mean, I really love them. They're so delicious. I research recipes. I've perfected the double bake. I love all the toppings and how they work together to create the most wonderful flavor explosion in my mouth. I love baked potatoes so much. I actually went back to school to learn more about them, and I wanted to learn all I could. So I entered a PhD program in baked potatoes so that I could become Dr. Baked Potato. I told you, it's weird. Just stay with me. Okay, so now I'm this baked potato expert, and now I need to find a job. And I'm so lucky because I find out that this great high school down the road is looking for someone exactly like me. They need a teacher of baked potatoes. I'm so excited. Like, what are the odds? So I have my interview and I get the job, yes. I get into my classroom and I spend the whole week before school starts getting it ready. I put up baked potato posters. I have a timeline of the history of baked potatoes and their influence around the world. These students are so lucky. And then it's the night before school. I'm getting the last minute details ready. I have 25 baked potatoes all lined up. Okay, 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 let's be a little bit more realistic. I have 35 baked potatoes all lined up. I have timed it so when the students walk in, the potatoes are coming hot out of the oven. I have the toppings measured out. Everyone has the same amount of bacon bits and chives. And the morning arrives, I am ready. And in they come, these lovely students. And I serve every single one of them their individually perfected baked potato with perfectly proportioned toppings. You are welcome, I say. This is for you, I say. I hope that one day you are as passionate about this potato as me. And then I step back and I enjoy my masterpiece. And then I look to my left. One of my students isn't eating. What, what, why aren't you eating? This is, this is a work of art, what is wrong? And you know what they say to me? Um, I don't eat meat. What do you mean you don't eat meat? <sighs> Just excuse me. Hi, hi, yeah, Dr. Baked Potato here. Yeah, yeah, so I have a student who doesn't eat meat in my class. So I'm, I'm, do you have any like bacon bit EAs who can come down and like pick the bacon bits? Can you do it? No, no, I can't, I'm teaching. I don't have any. Well, just anyone then. They don't have to be a bacon bit specialist. Just anyone will do. Oh. Okay, hurry. Okay. <sighs> They're coming, I say. Just wait. And then, I look to my right. Now there's an entire table of students who are eating. Why aren't you eating your potato, I say? You know what they said? Mm, we don't eat dairy today. I don't eat dairy today. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Hold on, just excuse me. Hi, yeah, me again, yeah. Okay, so I have, like, now I have this gaggle. Can I just, like, send them, can I just send them to you and you can, like, help them take the butter off their potatoes? No, you do it? No, no, I can't, I'm teaching. What do you mean you're busy? What do you even do down there all day? End scene. First of all, our EAs have better things to do than pick off bacon bits from an already served baked potato. And second, do you know how hard it is to take melted butter off of a hot potato? This is what we're doing to our support teams. It is exhausting for everybody, and it isn't effective or efficient. And you know those kids who are waiting for their retrofit supports, you know what they're doing? They're throwing their potatoes at the people who are trying to eat. Okay, let's just back up the potato truck here for a second. As a teacher of baked potatoes, my expertise is still absolutely required to design the purpose or the goals for this group of potato eaters. But potato expertise isn't enough. To design for inclusive classrooms, there's a few things we need to do. Number one, we need to know who is eating the potatoes. Who are the students? What supports do they need? And we need to know this before we serve the potatoes 
not after. Number two, we need to know what the goal is. And we need to understand that goals are connected to concepts, not to activities. What this means is, is if the goal is to eat a baked potato, then yes, everyone needs to eat a potato. But the goal is not for all students to eat the exact same fully loaded baked potato with all the exact same toppings. Students are diverse. They're going to need different toppings. Number three. Planning for this range of diversity means that we anticipate the variety and complexity of toppings. And to ensure that everyone has the same opportunity and access, we teach all of the options to all of the students. This is called scaffolding complexity, and it's an additive model of making goals adjustable rather than relying on a reductive model of assumed average. And number four, this one's hard because we have to let go. We need to hand over this choice of challenge to the students. We let them choose the toppings for their potato. And the best part, if we design this way, these decisions are based on what they can eat rather than on what they can't eat. No adaptations needed, no modifications needed, no retrofitting needed. And our support teachers and EAs, their roles will start to shift away from triage and towards supporting students to be in charge of their learning, helping them to decide what adjustments will be best for them. Okay, are you ready for your challenge? I want you to actually go make baked potatoes. Like, it can be for an event or for family dinner. Make sure that everyone has a potato and then offer the toppings as a bar of options. And then, the best part, sit back and watch. See the magic of inclusion unfold before your very eyes. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the 5 More Minutes YouTube channel and look for us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget, go enjoy your baked potatoes.